folks, welcome back to an episode of AFC Tames with me, Ultimate Jeff. Ever had fun? You extraordinary really well. Thank you for the birthday wishes yesterday. Let's then crack on for today as we play Liverpool twice. Which, when you look at my surroundings, if we just go full screen very briefly, uh, you might think my, my loyalties are divided. Um, I want to win with Thames. Don't don't get it don't get it twisted. We're going to play them today then in the league and in the EFL Cup semi-final second leg with a chance to get to our first domestic final in well the whole save which would be nice and we are very close to sort of equaling how much we achieved with Thames FC the first time around. Let's hope then today we can do the business. Uh, we've got into land to come as well. That'll be next episode. But can you see our run right now? Liverpool, Liverpool, Manchester United, West Ham, Inter Milan, Arsenal, City, Chelsea before Sheffield United and then into Milan again which makes our run in i thought was gonna be quite easy but then we play united everton tottenham in the final three games so maybe not as you can see full of green right now and our recent form has been really really good after the wins against liverpool and thames the winning streak has continued against norwich luton and swansea so two games today two big games too because if we can win against liverpool who have now gone to the top of the league table we can close the gap even overtake them and uh yeah that's gonna be very exciting of course the bow is still aware on african cup of nations duty so we're still missing him but the team recently have been performing really well. Randrup, you've got to, you've got to speak about him improving all the time like this man 20 years of age like by the end of this save he could be really good we've probably got a few more years left in us and we'll get, we're going to see the best of him as i say recent form goals and assists all over the place uh, and aganovic as well on the other side very similar story he's been putting put in some major shifts for us in the, in the recent games um and again when you're missing your best player that's quite important for us again he's away at the moment with nigeria uh he still wants a loan move was <laughs> a week to go it's not gonna happen obviously is it obviously not um and Emma trout is gonna start front for us today uh ishmael has, has gone off the board in the last couple of games as a result of that we're gonna drop him out he didn't play particularly well against luton or against swansea and of course we've seen Emma trout before perform in big matches and there are no bigger than the one coming up right now then jones will be in golf this one then gill and elielso on either flank with pintado who's just signed the new four-year contract um Madalena will be on the on the right of that that, that defensive partnership. Salatiel and Gassam Fernandez. Can you tell I'm hyped, viewers? I'm excited to get going. Let's get into this game then against Liverpool. It's the league game first. Which is this more important? I don't know. It's hard to say. Here we go then. Let's get let's get stuck in. Ah yes, and this brings us beautifully. We need to give a number to um, to Edmilson Gomez, who we've brought in from Tottenham uh, for 11.25 million English quota. If there's one thing I was missing this season, it was that we've got a signed striker uh, to the club, not Aloni, not Ishmael, not Emin Trout. We've got this man come in again. The fact he's an England 25 year old English man who's 25, um, I think, is pretty good. An English 25 year old, I was gonna say, as if as if that's not the same sentence twice. Uh, let's get into it then. His goal scoring record has been patchy. Had a good time with Norwich a couple of years ago, which saw them get promoted with a bow in their side. You were thinking. Um, so yeah, we've brought him into the team. I think he's going to be a decent addition. Finishing's a little low. Everything else, really good. Yeah, he's got that friendship. He's got that partnership with a bow. Maybe that's going to be a difference maker. Maybe it won't be. <laughs> we'll find out. Not today. Neither of them play. But... But this is a huge league game. I could bring you any of the next seven fixtures, really. But again, we'll try and keep it quite quite straightforward the recent form by the way goodness gracious me so so good as uh, there's the Liverpool side of course you won't be overly familiar with well any of those names really they, they are all regens at this stage they've got Gomez in, in the center of midfield who's very 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 good um uh, shall, we, shall we show you him very very quickly um he's probably the, the, the shining light uh Eva Linto Linton Linton Gomez him yeah he's um he's pretty special let's just say that here we go then Okay, this would be a big, big win in the context of the season, especially, of course, the league campaign and playing them again straight after this in today's episode, a double Liverpool header. We're going to get to know them very, very well. Uh, Salatiel finds Agonovic. It's a great chance. It's gone in. Is it going to count? Is it being deflected off their, their defender? Yeah, Lutz Dwell has, has put it into the back of the net. You almost said Duel, maybe. I'm not sure how you say it. As uh, yeah, the short corner has worked wonderfully well for us. I don't know how often Liverpool play when there's a wall and four... Any Anyway, uh, in the corner, as the ball's played back to Salatiel, he lays it back into Agonovic, whose shot, I think you can call it a shot, is definitely going wide. Duell, poor decision making, puts it into the back of his own net, and the perfect start for the boys, which is what we want to see. And as you can see, takes us back to the top of the Premier League table. Tottenham right now, beating Manchester United, who I'm going to have a look at in a moment, actually. Have they fallen off completely as Liverpool 
uh, on the prowl. It's a wonderful ball forward. Well, great save from Jones. I think it was offside anyway. But that was excellent work. Have Manchester United fallen off a cliff here? Because they seem to have had a real poor run of form. Yeah, draw to Forest, lost to Stoke, lost to Southampton. They may well lose very shortly to uh, to Tottenham as well. We play them in the FA Cup very, very soon. Not a tie I wanted. There was like five easy teams left in United. And well, of course we got them. That's the way football manager works sometimes. The ball forward by Liverpool. Dangerous. And our closing down wasn't quite tight enough. Again, our midfield, not that strong, really, in terms of, like, what you'd expect at this level. Maybe our fullbacks and defenders need to have question marks as well. Pintado, who's just got himself a new contract, not marking there on the left side of the defensive area. And uh, Liverpool have found that very easy. I'm going to keep an eye on Pintado. What does he do here to, to allow so much space to develop? Well, he doesn't move back in time. I think that's fair to say. The cross comes in. It's a little bit straightforward. A miscommunication between the defenders and back at 1-1. And you can see Liverpool currently hold the lead over us. And that is the problem right now. We've got to try and rein it in. Winning the league this year, I still think, as I sort of said in last, the last few episodes, is a little early, right? I did, I'd sort of written us off last <laughs> the last couple of episodes. But you never know. Maybe. Maybe there's a way back in. And if you, if you beat Liverpool here, you're top of the league at the end of January. Like... <laughs> it's a bit daunting when I say it out loud as uh, we do regain possession of the ball. Pintado to Madalena to Gill now. Forward to Ngassam. Back to Gill. Randrup now. Finally seeing him involved for the first time as the cross in. It's not really going to cut it, if we're honest, is it? Um, but the highlight's going to continue here, actually. And the ball forward to Marcelo Augusto. Very, very good. Leroy's now in and shoots just wide. I'm not sure Jones had that covered. I'm looking at our bench. Of course, Ishmael, well, I'm looking at our team. In fact, Ishmael can, of course, come on. Dewit Dewu is an option for us on that left-hand side. Um, Brighton have had two men sent off against Arsenal. So that's a thing that's going on. I think we're going we're gonna to make the move. Erman Trout's going to come over to the right-hand side. Randrup's struggling, struggling for a bit of fitness. And I want pace. I want speed out there for this game. And uh, Agonovic as well. Dewit Dewu is going to come on. If it's, if it's a name that doesn't do wonderful things, I don't know. The fans whistle as he comes on. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing, uh, viewers. I wish you would see it more as the ball forward isn't particularly good. Can we build from the back? I'm very... I, I'm, I feel alive for this game right now. And Gassam slide it through. Erman Trout. He's moved... Oh, he was moved over. It would have looked like a genius move. 20 minutes to go. I don't... Oh, do you go for this? It's tricky, isn't it? I'm going to go positive. And I'm going to encourage the boys at the same time. Liverpool not done yet. And of course, we're 3-1 up in the first leg. You saw it yesterday. So our League Cup game is looking pretty good. But as the Premier League goes, still very, very tight. Do we want to try and go for this? I'm debating bringing on another striker late in the game. I've got the option, right? I could move Salatiel slightly. For I could just move him across, actually, just, just once. Bring in Admilson Gomez. Final few moments of the game. Preferred role as an advance forward. I have two of them up there. Battling, challenging. Let's just see. Five minutes to go. I was going to encourage for a final time. We don't get to do it this time. As the time is now ticking away, though. Will there be one final moment of drama? Maybe, viewers. <laughs> the ball thrown in. Gil's going to get it back, though, after the, after the throw that didn't come to anything. Erman Trout now. Options in the in the middle. Do it, the woo. Fight the back. Do it, the woo. He's got in. I thought he was going to be fouled. It's 2 1. Final seconds of the game. It's Thames 2. Liverpool 1. The Premier League title might be coming to London. Goodness gracious me, do it, do we? I mean, he's, he's just on side here, right? I mean, I say he's just on side. There's, there's other players around him that aren't. The slide challenge comes in on him. Julius, the wit, the woo, makes it 2 1. And then the fans whistle as it goes. It's, it's a beautiful thing. This is, oh, oh, viewers, I wish you could hear it, but you do, you sort of, oh, it, would, it would have been something. Anyway, what a win. What a win out of nowhere as we keep the the winning run going as well. Like, we don't keep clean sheets all the time, but my word, do we win? We now go into this game, Carabao Cup. We've got the advantage. It's in a few days' time. Can we go to the final of that? Well, after that, anything's possible, right? Anything's possible. Come on then, boys. Let's go. Top of the league, having a laugh, viewers. Goodness gracious me. Coming up on my 100... <laughs> We're coming up here, viewers, on my 1,100th game. So, 1,100 games of football. Um, yeah, it's, a lot. it's loads of matches, that. Loads. Like, Alex Ferguson did, uh, did 810. Do you know what I mean? Like, so, and I do this every year. So, people often say football manager players think they know more than real managers. Like, I've, I've probably got well, well over 20,000 games, I dare say, over, over the years. You think how many saves I do a year? And then, I mean, 20... 
and I, I, I don't. What I'm getting, I don't get enough credit really for how much effort and work I've put in compared to these so-called real-life managers. Path honestly, pathetic. Like, how many's Pep done, for example? Pep got it. How many managers? How many? How many games has he managed? Seven hundred and forty-eight. Do you know what I mean? 748. I'm, I've done over 20,000. I'll call it now. Tweeting it out, viewers. So I'm tweeting this out. I've put Pep Guardiola has managed 748 games in his life. I've got well over 20,000 lifetime playing football manager. It's about time we FM players start getting more respect. I, that, what, that, that has to go down well. Pep doesn't even come close to me. I'm not sure I should have added that last bit. But no, well, I'm sure again, I'm sure it'll go down fine, viewers. We know the truth. We know I'm just having fun. Twitter will be furious because that's what Twitter does. <laughs> Feel free to go to Twitter and retweet that if you want. <laughs> that's right. Let's play Liverpool away. And I want to say at Anfield, but it's not at Anfield. They've moved, they've got a new ground now, which I'm not happy about. But we are 20 years into the future, which is probably fair enough. They now play at the Marcelo Gallardo Park, uh, 78,512 all seater. I don't necessarily think. I don't necessarily think that's the same as the Anfield atmosphere. I don't know what it looks like, viewers. We'll find out now. Uh, Team-wise, I'm going to change nothing from the last... Ah, do you know what? I'm going to put Ishmael back in. I just, I do think he gives us an extra bite. Still won the game last game anyway, so cruising really, aren't we? Um, Brazil should almost certainly be on the bench as well. You don't need two goalkeepers, viewers. Think about it. When was the last time you got a goalkeeper injury? Exactly. Right, here we are then. Into it we go. Team is exactly the same. I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. Hopeful. All right, we are underway. Of course, first leg was a 4 I thought it was 3-1 4-1 victory we'll take it as we, as we, have we gone for goal there I thought I felt like we went for goal there I actually thought it was 3-1 my mind doesn't work viewers it's, oh good lord we've not done oh Jones there has come out of nowhere viewers the W in his name stands for W I, I don't know what I've done there Right, I realise now I've been bigging myself up against the likes of Sir Alex Ferguson and Pep Guardiola, two of the greatest managers of all time. And I'm now in a League Cup game where I'm leading 4-1. If there was ever a perfect storm for me to throw this away, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> all right, let's uh, let's encourage... You don't want to encourage here because the game thinks, viewers, that I'm 4-1 up, which I technically am. But in this particular match... I'm not. If we were 2 0 down and I went, don't worry, boys, fourth, we're 4 3 up here, they would hate that, you would think. All right, here we are. Gil thrown into Randrup as I'm, I'm not concerned, but I do, I do think that there's the potential for them to break on us here, especially as the home side that you'd think would have the best of this type of game. But look at the way we're keeping the ball here and our beautiful third kit, by the way, Dr. Benji branded third kit. Um, Agonovic into Fernandez, back to oh my word, but nearly back towards him. We do have to have our wits about us here. We're playing on balanced. We could arguably go to cautious here. We don't need to do anything too ridiculous. I don't want to get. I basically, I don't, oh goodness me, I don't want to concede one and then it starts to fall away. But the way things are going right now, it looks pretty good. I, although, do we do we push for an away goal? That's what you've got to ask yourself. It's been a very mellow first half performance, but considering the aggregate score. I think we're going to take this. I'm going to fight for... Do you know what, viewers? I'm going to do what I would normally do. I'm going to attack. Because if you get that goal, Liverpool's afternoon becomes jolly difficult, viewers. And that's what I'm for. Lots of sides playing in the league today. Thames losing to Leicester, which is pretty big, as Randrup's clearance is not amazing. It has to be said, Ishmael goes to close down just a little bit. Uh, admittedly, you'd expect Liverpool at home to be quite a good battle, especially where they are in the league right now. But we're forcing them all the way back to their goalkeeper, which isn't Allison these days, as the ball is then lifted forwards. And um, although they do look like they're having a nice spell of possession, we do look relatively in control, which again, a dangerous thing to say, viewers, as the shot they've carved out is is not that good. And Gassam's on a 6.3, Fernandes on a 6.4. No one's playing particularly well, but I am sort of telling the boys to play within themselves. We're going to try and do a little bit of final 20 minutes. Brendan Rodgers taught me death by football. Just, just sort of, you know, keep the ball. Don't let them do anything. If they score one, that's fine. We're in total control, viewers, as uh, they are making a bit of a switch here. They have scored. Looks well. I mean, a redemption for, if anything, I'm kind of pleased for him after last game. So, you know. Okay, now immediately, if they score again, viewers, there will be a... There will be a the, <laughs> you will sense panic. <laughs> Fernandez into Salatiel. Again, a goal here. Playing a little bit more patiently. Oh, Ishmael, to seal it now, surely. Yes, the boys, there we go. We need some sort of bell sound effect. I mean, I've got... Is it? Is it, what, is it gonna... Yes. It's seconds out, round final. Oh my God, I'm in a final. 
They're not going to score three now, are they? Ten minutes to go. Come on, do me a favour. Uh, the league, by the way, that's that's a great day for us. Again, Thames FC failing to win at Leicester. I don't know if United are playing below those fixtures, but as the time ticks away, viewers, there's Pep Guardiola, Sir Alex Ferguson, me. I think that's that's what we've concluded. Uh, a really, really good result in the end. A 1-1. I'd have, I'd have taken that pre-game. Our winning run comes to an end, which is frustrating, but our unbeaten run, well, that's only set to continue. And goodness me, what, is it? what a week. <laughs> I'm chuffed, I'm going to say, in the post-match press conference. I'm confident we could do something in the final. Oh, United are playing West Ham. We'll face them in the final. Sorry, that's why they weren't featuring today. Uh, but that's what we're talking about. That's what we needed. And uh, top of the league, into the final of the Carabao Cup, it's a perfect start to a perfect 2043 viewers, which I think that's what we're all here for. Um, yeah, that's gone phenomenally well. Money-wise, we're crushing it. There's so much to be positive about. If I, if the only thing, oh, if there was one thing, if Joseph Abo could become the world's best player for me, um, that'd be great. Anyway, that's gonna conclude today. If Maybe I should load him out till the end of the season. Would that be madness, viewers? Would that be? No one's gonna come in on that, are they? Are they? See you soon. Bye, everybody. <laughs> this was great.